Hi, I'm Mrs. Helen Chan. I am a teacher in charge of Environmental Club. I started the Environmental Club last year with 20 students. And this uh, garden has been around for one year. And uh, the plants here are being taken care of by my students who water the plants and do the weeding, planting and so on. Today I am going to do soil testing using this pH uh, electronic meter to find out how acidic or how alkaline the soil is and whether the soil is suitable for the growth of my plants. Okay, why do you want to find, uh, uh, find out the pH of the soil? Because we want to know uh, whether the soil is acidic or alkaline and suitable for plant growth and what do we use to measure the pH? The first one here is the pH indicator strip that you can buy easily from the shop selling lab equipment. The next is uh, electronic equipment that is more costly but they can, you can use it to test the soil more effectively because you can see a graph being drawn when the probe is put into the soil. The pH ranges from 0 to 14 0 being very acidic and uh, 14 being very alkaline. If the pH is 7, it means that the, it, the soil is neutral, it's not acidic, not alkaline. Now I'm going to ask my students to show you how to use the two equipment, the, this pH paper and the meter to test for pH of the soil. Okay, get ready a container and using the rake, to scoop some soil into the container, add the water and stir the soil mixture. Then now use the pH paper to dip into the soil mixture. I remove the paper and then match it against the, the card given on the paper. Then you can read the pH of the soil from there. Next, we can use the probe of the meter to put it into the soil mixture. On the machine, the, that means the pH meter, then you can see the graph. The graph will indicate what the pH of the soil is. If the soil is too acidic, then you go to the nursery to buy the lime pellets and add them to the soil. If the soil is too alkaline, then you can add fruit peel, compost soil to it to make it more acidic. If you do not know the condition of the soil, then all you need to do is go to the nursery to get new soil and add it to the soil that you have. I hope you learned something from the video and enjoy watching the video. Goodbye and all the best to all of you. Bye.